Amigos, hola. Hello, friends. Allow me to present Project DES to you and tell you why I think it is important. Project DES is an initiative to research and write the life stories of the intellectual immigration in science and technology into and from Venezuela. Later on, I will explain what DES stands for. But right now, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Jose, and in social media networks, I am known by my Twitter handle, Chegoyo. I was born and raised in Caracas, Venezuela, and my background is in physics, geoscience, and Asia-Pacific business. These days, I apply myself as a content creation specialist. Later on, I will tell you more about myself. But now, let's get back to why I think Project VES is important. In order to solve many current society problems, we need to use science and technology with creativity, ingenuity, and innovation. And that's why a diversity of thinking is needed. Thus, it is important that more Hispanic take up careers in science and technology, the so-called STEM careers. However, currently, Hispanic youth lack enough role models to follow, but it happens that Hispanics of Venezuelan origin have achieved uncommon successes in science and technology within the US and Canada, but nobody knows. Nobody knows these stories, and that's why Project Best would like to write their stories and make them available for free in the internet under a Creative Commons license, and that's why I'm asking for your support. There are quite a few good things that come from Venezuela. Suppose someone entrusted you with the task of going into a shopping mall asking people the following question. Can you name one great thing about Venezuela? Some likely answers you might get are that Venezuela has the largest oil reserves in the world, or that the highest waterfall is located in Venezuela. Or, some people might tell you about the famous Venezuelan National Network of Youth and Children Orchestras. Or, the Venezuelan women often win international beauty contests. Or that Venezuelans often make it to the Major League of Baseball. Some people might mention about Venezuelan beautiful beaches. Or some people might tell you about Cave of the Ghost, a giant cave 250 meters high in southern Venezuela. Or they will tell you that Venezuela produces the world best cacao and that DNA studies have located the likely origin of the Teobroma cacao species in Venezuela. There are a few things people will not likely tell you, like that at Harvard University there are tenured professors from Venezuela, that there are many STEM professionals born in Venezuela serving at Canadian and American universities. They will not tell you that the president of MIT is an electrical engineer from Venezuela, or that at Princeton University teaches one famous hydrologist who is a civil engineer from Venezuela. They will not tell you that the director of the Alberta Ingenuity Center for In-Situ Energy is a chemical engineer from Venezuela. And they will not know the young Venezuelan physicist have received important awards. Other things they will not likely say is that the CEO of AES Corporation is a Hispanic of Venezuelan origin, or that the chief technology officer of Sony Electronics is an electrical engineer from Venezuela, or that there is a Venezuelan scientist who is also a former high executive of AOL and Time Warner's with a scientific paper with more than 29,000 citations. Or, the senior advisor of HIV vaccines 
of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is a biomedical doctor from Venezuela. There are more than 9,000 Hispanics of Venezuelan origin engaged in the STEM professions living and working in the United States and Canada, and as we've seen, many of them have achieved striking successes. I would like to research and write their stories together with the larger story of the movement of people from Europe and countries south of South America into Venezuela in the years going from the early 1940s up until the late 1970s. Within those years, Venezuela received a large immigration. Many of the newcomers were scientists and engineers who helped build a scientific culture in Venezuela, a culture that later produced the scientists and technologists that are now living in the United States and Canada. On our first phase of Project VES, I would like to research and write 50 stories of this epic movement of people and ideas from Europe and South America into Venezuela and from Venezuela to the United States, Canada and the rest of the world. And I think that this is a story worth telling and that's why I'm asking for your support. You can support Project DES by donating or by spreading the word in social media networks. You can always reach me on my Twitter Chegoyo and Thank you so much for listening to me, and in this holiday season, I wish you happy holidays. Thank you so much. Allow me to tell you a little bit more about myself. I studied physics at the Central University of Venezuela in Caracas. I did graduate work in geoscience at the University of California at Berkeley. In the early 1990s, I went to live to China, and I studied Mandarin and Chinese culture at the Beijing Language and Cultural University, Beijing UESUEN. In year 2000, I earned an MBA from the University of Southern California in Los Angeles, focusing on Asia-Pacific business. These days, I apply myself as a content curation specialist, doing work on the commission for clients who would like to use internet to research topics of particular interest to them. 